What's a real life example of someone ruining their reputation? There was a PC building company earlier this year that disqualified a prize winner because the company owner thought the winner's social media presence was too weak, not fake, mind you, just not popular enough to be worth sponsoring. Gerald Ratner. At one time Ratners were a nationwide chain of jewelry shops in the UK. They were known as an affordable jewelry shop. In 1991 he was a guest at the Institute of Directors and made a speech where he called the stuff sold by his shops. Total crap. A popular range of earrings was described as being cheaper than a prawn sandwich and compounded it by saying the prawn sandwich would last longer. Shares in the company dropped like a stone and he was fired by the majority company shareholders. I was just reading a story about how a police officer with a perfect career ruined everything by buying donuts and scanning a barcode for a carrot to make it cheaper. Lost his job for that. We had a beloved band instructor at our high school. He worked there for years and everyone thought he was a great guy. He went to a band camp car wash fundraiser and decided to jerk off to the girls washing his car while he was in it. In the matter of a few moments his life was ruined and the fact that so many people are saying if it was this or that incident in their hometown is really sad. It looks like this disgusting behavior is way more common that I imagined. The CEO of a Berkrumby and Fitch when he said something. Like I want cool people to wear our clothes, not fat people when asked why they didn't carry any plus sized clothes for women. The term cancelled wasn't really a thing back in 2013, but Mandida and Death get cancelled hard after that. Probably a not ball answer from my stupid knowledge of YouTube drama but, Austin Jones, pretty boy musician type, proper 2010 Justin Bieber cut and everything. Whose long running career act him up a not unreasonable 1.6 million subscribers. Then videos of him teaching little girls how to twerk got out. Among him doing other things with little girls. You'll be happy to know he's in jail now. Former Brooklyn slash Los Angeles Dodgers baseball player and executive Al Campanis. He had a brief career as a player with the Brooklyn Dodgers, playing only 7 games with them in 1943 but spent a lot of time in the minor leagues, and played one season in the minors with Jackie Robinson the year before Robinson became the first African American player in the majors. After retiring as a player he became a scout, and moved up in the organization, to become the general manager of the Dodgers in 1968. On April 6, 1987 Campanus was invited to appear on the TV show Nightline, to be interviewed by Ted Capel about Jackie Robinson as April 15th would be the 40th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's first game in the majors and they were good friends until Robinson's death in 1972. Capel asked Campanus about why there were so few black managers, and no black general managers. Campanus answered, I truly believe, that they may not have some of the necessities to be, let's say, a field manager, or, perhaps, a general manager. When pressed later in the interview by Capel, he said why, are black men or black people not good swimmers, because they don't have the buoyancy, and also saying, that the black race certainly are short on individuals with strong decision making capabilities. He was fired from the Dodgers less than two days later, and never worked in baseball again, passing away in 1998. <laughs> Haven't seen Lance Armstrong's name yet, scientists studied his body for years to find the cause of his incredible performance, just to have him openly admit to using steroids. Had a supervisor who decided to get blitzed on morphine and alcohol, before writing a racist, incomprehensible, unprofessional email and sending it to every subordinate, every single person turned against him, and he was gone from his job really quickly after that, and he was tenured and everything, happened in an instant. At one point. Ryan Lotched was arguably on the way to becoming as big in the swimming world as Michael Phelps, then his lies about being robbed at the Olympics torched his reputation and career. That lady that got accepted to the NASA internship, wrote an explicit tweet about it, and when someone told her to watch her language, she told them to sdfu, he was ahead or something at NASA, she did not have that internship for long. Nelson Rockefeller was governor of New York, before serving as vice president under Gerald Ford. He was found dead at his secret town home. His wife wasn't there, but his girlfriend was. She was 49 years younger than him. Rockefeller's law states, never do anything you wouldn't be caught dead doing. My grandpa, 
for 23 years of my life. I thought he was the most honest and upstanding person I had the honor of knowing. Then last year, I found out he's always had a habit of manipulating his dying family members slash friends wills into leaving him and his wife the good, expensive stuff, houses, cars, etc. It's how he's avoided bankruptcy for so damn long, selling off these stolen houses to pay for his own. He stole a house out from his own stepdaughter after her son had been in a near fatal accident, and she herself had just survived a suicide attempt. So yeah, turns out the best man I know is one of the worst, and what's better, he passed on his house stealing skills to his CVNT daughter, my aunt, so the cycle continues. Ugh, sorry for the rant. Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit was one of the best technical pro wrestlers in the world who for years had made a name for himself all over the world from New Japan, ECW, WCW and WWE. He was a former heavyweight champion and had main evented WrestleMania and had wrestle on TV on a weekly basis and had matches with all the biggest names in the world. One day Chris Benoit his wife and son were all found dead, the incident being all over the news and the police were investigating a murder and looking for a suspect. While this was happening during an episode of Monday Night Raw the WWE hosted a memorial to honor Chris Benoit for all his work he had done throughout his career. The next day it was revealed that it was Chris Benoit who murdered his wife and son and then had committed suicide. It was also noted that their son who he had murdered had a disability. For over 20 years his whole career had been sullied instantly every match he has ever had instantly gone, never to be mentioned ever again. The WWE had completely hidden him from history, but erased him in the record books, and he was considered to be one of the greatest technical wrestlers ever for any student who started pro wrestling they were often told to watch and study Chris Benoit. A pizza delivery guy was belittled out of tip by rude local car dealership employees. They went really off on one, treating him badly, and threatened to get the pizza delivery guy sacked. The incident was caught on camera, and the internet went out for revenge. The car dealership was review bombed, and I think one of the colleagues were fired. A former boss in the army did it. He was son of a general, airborne ranger, and had a family right out of Stepford Wives. He was the perfect soldier and family man, until one day it was found out he was banging an interpreter he met in Iraq. He hid this for a number of years, but it was eventually discovered that he was flying her all around Europe on US Air Force planes in order to keep her close and keep it a secret from his wife. The army found out and he was forced into retirement and had to pay several hundred thousand to cover the cost of the misappropriated aircraft. The divorce proceedings were quite comical as well, made the military newspapers and everything. Travis Scott's apology and behavior during the Estrawarl tragedy, dude is an awful person and people just give him a pass, because he's rich and famous, and is married to one of the Kardashian relatives, PPL pick and choose man I swear, they will blindly defend people, if they like them enough, dude basically let 10 people pass away, his fans are brainwashed by his garbage music. Had a teacher in high school, that everyone loved, he always helped kids who were being bullied, fully sat down with us and tried to mediate any conflict in groups as well. No one had a bad thing to say about him. One day a new story breaks that a teacher was caught filming up girls skirts at the mall. Next day our favorite teacher had taken a few personal days. Everyone defended him saying it was only a coincidence that he was gone. We knew it was him when they started talking to girls from our school. They found footage of up underage girls skirts on his work laptop. 99% were students. He was only caught because he attempted to try it in public and was seen by a security guard and tried to flush the evidence down the toilet. Destroyed his career, family and life. Not 20 years but close. Worked my way from dishwasher to waiter to inventory manager to district manager of a large chain restaurant. At any given time there would be about 40 to 50 staff answering directly to me. Anyways threw it all away in literally 5 minutes. When our general manager gave us a surprise visit. I used to be a raging alcoholic literally only time I was sober was. When I'm sleeping. Been clean 1 years now. She caught me drinking on the job. And fired me on the spot. I'm in a completely different industry now. But I cringe how I let it get. Do out of control. So yeah I messed up. <laughs>